Hello everyone and welcome to Building Web Applications. My name is Steve Bishop from ProgrammingMadeEasy.com and today we're going to be talking about the standard HTML layout. So if you've ever opened up an HTML document before, you'll notice that there's kind of some a, a set pattern to the way that an HTML document is laid out. And we start off with a tag called the doc type tag. Now the doc type tag helps to tell the browser what the format of this document is. And in this case, we're saying HTML. In the past, we used to have to specify something called a document type definition to help the browser understand what the format of the document was. Now, since the advent of HTML5, we no longer have to do that. We just simply say doc type is HTML. Next, we're going to add the HTML element. So we have the open and close HTML tags. Now this helps tell the browser where the beginning and the end of the HTML document is. And we do refer to these as HTML documents. So if you hear me use that term, I mean the HTML itself. Inside of the HTML, we're going to have a head and a body. Now the head is where we can add information about the document, stuff like the title. Now this is kind of metadata. This is information about the document. It's not stuff that the user is going to see inside the browser window. The body is where you put the elements that you want to display to the user. So things like a paragraph tag or a span or divs. So this is where we can actually put the content that the user is going to see. Now there are several other tags that you're going to find inside of an HTML document. But the basic structure of an HTML document is like this. An HTML, a head, a body, and inside of the head is where we put information about the document, and inside of the body is where we put the actual content that we want the user to see. Let's apply this standard HTML layout to our index.html document. So here's our index.html document. We have our paragraph with a strong, uh, strong text there, and we also have a span. Now, I'm going to once again open this up in Notepad just so that we can see that this is just text, right? That's all that HTML is. There's nothing really special here. But we will be using an, a code editor called Visual Studio Code a little bit later on. For now, go ahead and open up this index.html document and let's add some of that formatting we were just talking about. And to start with, at the very top of the document, we're going to add that doc type. So doc type. We're going to say HTML. Now, it does have an open and close angle bracket, but there's no forward slash, right? There's no forward slash anywhere in here. So it's just doc type. Then we need to specify where the beginning and the end of our HTML document is. So we see the open HTML document, and then down here at the bottom is going to be my close HTML document tag. And that's basically it. Now we need to add our head and body. So after HTML, let's go ahead and add a head. And let's add the closing head tag. And I'm not going to add the title just yet. I'm going to show you what that's all about a little bit later on. Let's go ahead and add the body. So we're going to add the open body tag. And then down here, add just before the closing HTML tag, let's go ahead and add our closing body tag. And again, everything between the open and close body tags is where we should be putting the content that we want to display to the user. So that's why we put it around the paragraphs and spans and strongs. Now let's just go ahead and add some tabbing to our document. So I'm just going to tab over a little bit just to make things look a little nicer. And our Visual Studio Code editor will make this a lot easier to work with, I promise. But for right now, this should be about right. Let's go ahead and save this. Now let's take a look at it in our browser. So I'm just going to open it up. Let me go ahead and bring this window over. There we go. We can see strong content goes here, span content goes here. And if we right click in here, we can actually view the page source. And that shows us everything that we have inside of our notepad, right? OK, so this is our index.html document. We've now applied the proper formatting to our, or the proper layout to our HTML document. OK, so let's talk about the title real quick here. So I'm going to go back to my notepad. And inside of the head, before I add the title tag, let me just show you one last time on our document, up here at the top on our tab, we see index.html. It's just the name of the document, just the name of the file. But if we go back to Notepad, 
And let's add the title tag. And we'll say my first web page. And save that. Then go back to our browser and do a refresh. My first web page appears up here on the tab. So if you want your uh, up at the top of the of the browser for it to show some sort of special name for your uh, for your document, that's where you're going to put it. You're going to put it in the uh, in the title tag of your head of your document. So once again, let's just take one quick look at this again. We got a doc type that says HTML. And we can do that ever since HTML5 came out. Then we have the open and close HTML tags there to indicate the start and the end of our HTML document. We have our head tags. And inside of the head tags or head element is where we put information about the document. Now the browser used this information about our title to change what's displayed up here in the tab. Then we have our body, which is where we actually put the content that we want to display to the user. Special thanks to these members who really helped the channel grow. I really appreciate your help and support. Thank you. Yeah.